In this video on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I'm going to show you how you can shiny hunt Riolu and evolve it into a Lucario. You can see here, I also got two shiny Palmy during my hunt for this cool shiny looking dude. So in order to shiny hunt Riolu and get a nice shiny Lucario, it is very difficult to do it through an outbreak. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you right now, I did not use an outbreak because it is very hard to find an outbreak that has Riolu in it. And I'm sure you guys have probably experienced the same thing. So I instead farmed a certain spot in the world where it's nice and easy to find Lucario. Trust me, you're going to love the strategy if you're trying to get Lucario. It is, however, a little bit more rare to get it because an outbreak obviously makes it so much easier. We're going to be hunting it in the rare wild, which means that it's going to take some time. For me, it took probably about an hour, which isn't so bad considering I've been hatching eggs for Froki for like three hours and that's driving me insane. And you'll also be able to get a bunch of shiny Palmy at the same time for some reason because they just spawn more often than the shiny Riolus do. It's really weird. So here's the hole that I managed to get from the shiny hunting that I did here. I got the Riolu, the Palmy, and the Palmy. And you obviously can tell that these are mine if I go into my boxes over here. Now, if you look on them here, you can see they're shiny at the top right corner. And there's also no language tag. A language tag normally means it's been traded to you from somebody else. For example, this Ditto that was traded to me, which is a Masuda 6 IV, it says CHT. You know, if somebody trades you a Pokemon that is, um, you know, for example, the same region as you, it will say English instead. Like, for example, somebody traded me the score bunny when I traded them a Charizard. So you can see here it says English, even though my game is in English too. So you can't like, you know, pass off shinies as your own because you actually have to physically catch them. And if you catch them, it doesn't have the language tag, which means you caught them in your game. All right, so let's get into the point of how to shiny hunt a Riolu. So on the map here, we're going to a very specific area here. So starting from the great crater of Paldea, the school is beneath us over here. We're going to go basically south here. And then we're going to go towards the west. So this little area over here. Now you'll see this little area where it kind of zigs off into this direction and down here into this direction. This is where we'll be shiny hunting this Riolu because this is where it is going to spawn most frequently alongside the Palmy and the Palmy line. So this area, you're basically going to run up here constantly like this and back and forward until a shiny Riolu spawns. Now that's just the basics of it. So let's quickly get there and show you how it works. So once you get to this area, it should look like this. You can see here, here is the curve that I showed you where we go from down there and then we go up here. And then once you're done down there, you come back and you run across here. Okay, so where you look at where I am right now, there's a tree over here. This is the location where I am. You can see the tree is literally just north of my location. Right now, I'm just gonna take this off. And we're gonna basically go from here, we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna take the right, and we're gonna go all the way down here, basically to this tree. And then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna go all the way back. Meanwhile, seeing all the Riolu along the way, this is quickly what the route looks like to show you. So we're gonna go along like this. And then you see this tree over here, you can basically go here and then we're going to proceed all the way back to that other tree and you're going to go straight back and forward all the entire time. Now you do need to do a special sandwich beforehand that unfortunately does require Herba Mystica, but that's okay because if you don't get any shinies, we're just going to reset the game. So right now we're going to go to options and you're going to make sure your auto save is turned off because you don't want the game to save after you've spent your really hard to get Herba Mystica. So you're gonna make sure your autosave settings are turned off. Okay, so now that you're in this area and you have your autosaves turned off, you're gonna immediately save the game. This is your saving point. This is where you're gonna to return to if you don't receive your shiny. And now we're gonna go into the picnic and we're gonna spend some Herba Mystica and make a sandwich. Okay, so interact with your picnic table, make a sandwich, press X to go into creative mode, and then we're gonna to add tomato. We're gonna to add onion. We're gonna add green bell pepper. And then we're going to add hamburger. And then we're going to go up again and we're going to add two pickles. One, two. So tomato, onion, green bell pepper, hamburger, pickle, pickle, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Now in the condiment section here, you need to add two Herba Mystica. Doesn't matter which two, you just have to add two. So use like one there, one there, so that I still have one each of left over. And then we're going to go next. And for the picks, it does not matter. I just like using the sword one because it looks cool. In case you don't know where to get in the ingredients for all of these different things, there is a video linked on the screen and in the description right now that you can see that takes you to a video to show you where you can find all these ingredients to buy them. So when you're building this, this sandwich, you need to make sure all of these different ingredients fit on the bread roll, right? So you got to space them out as much as you can. I like to put, a, put all the like, you know, the flat kind of like ones 
first, and then we put the heavy ones on top of them later. So we're gonna go like this, blip. And we're gonna put nice, a nice big burger in the middle because that's how you make a hot dog. Now you don't need to put the bread on top. You can actually throw it somewhere else. I just instinctively threw it for some reason and luckily everything stayed together somehow. And we're gonna stab it with the sword, perfect. Now the top bread, like I said, you can drop somewhere else. It doesn't matter. As long as you have the bottom bread and all of those ingredients stay on the roll, the sandwich should come out fine. Now you just have to get your character to eat this disgusting sandwich along with the Pokemon you want to torture in your party. A tasty Con Con original. Thanks for naming this disaster after me. Now you can see here at the top right side of the screen says sparkling power fighting level three. That means the shiny power, that's exactly what we want. And the other one is encounter power fighting level three, which means we're gonna encounter fighting Pokemon, which is also what we need. So those two powers, sparkling and encounter and fighting is what we need. All right, so after you've had your sandwich, it is now time to set up your other boost. And what you have to do is use a fast Pokemon, like I'm using Iron Valiant. You can also use Greninja, something that runs really fast, like when you throw it out, like you can see here, the Iron Valiant runs really quickly. It's like fantastic. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the auto battle feature, which is the right, um, the like R1 key, the RB. And you're gonna basically press this and you're gonna battle 60 or more Riolus. Now I generally go for like 65 or so, and you just have to defeat more than 60, and that increases the chances of finding a shiny Riolu. So that's something you wanna do. It's gonna take you about seven minutes, but you can also do this while exploring and searching from this pathway that I showed you. And you're basically gonna keep your eyes out for a shiny Riolu or Palmy while you're battling 60 of these, these things, these Riolus, to increase the chances of finding a shiny one. Once you have defeated over 60 of them, you can just basically repeat this process of running up and down and looking for a shiny Riolu. Just take your sweet time. Now you should know that the Pokemon that despawn behind you will not be the same ones when you go back. So each time you actually walk here, it will be different Pokemon in the town. Like you can see here, that other one turned into a Pikachu now. So, so it's not like these are gonna be the same Pokemon. You don't have to defeat them to reset them. You just have to go out of render distance. So as you move away further here, you can go back here and you can see now all of a sudden all those Riolus have been turned into Palmy, right? So the same for the Riolus. The Riolus that were there before are now different ones, which means you have a higher chance of finding the shiny ones. Waiting for me. And oh my god. <laughs> no way, dude. This is... No way. This is crazy. I just found another one. I found another one. This is... Literally, I'm doing a video on how to find one. And I find one in the video. It took me... 18 minutes since I started recording. What I like to do is since this Iron Valiant already has the move False Swipe, I recommend having a Pokemon that has the move False Swipe. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this once, it's gonna go down, it's not gonna go lower than one HP. It's gonna counter there, which is fine, but it's gonna stay and we're gonna press X and we can catch in whatever ball we want. We can do a luxury ball. I did my first one in a level ball. We can go, I think let's do a luxury ball. The luxury ball looks quite cool. I like it. Maybe it suits Lucario. It looks it looks cool. My my intent is to evolve this Riolu into a Lucario. What is the odds of catching two of these guys? It was so close too. Damn. And there we go. We finally caught it in our seventh luxury ball throw. That was that took some some time. Holy damn. And that is our second shiny Riolu. Oh my god. I am actually I'm actually so surprised that that happened. Wow. Now, if you got yourself a shiny Rioli, obviously it's a very good time to start saving your game. Don't forget to save your game after that. If you didn't catch one and your buff has ended, and you'll know your buff has ended when you press the right arrow on your D-pad, you can see here your active meal powers. We still have 22 minutes. We caught this one within seven minutes. Within seven minutes of making that shiny sandwich. That's absurdly insane, my God. I spent so much time trying to get this and I get a second one in seven minutes. Of course, of course I did. But once this timer or this meal power is ended, you basically have to close your game, start it up again, it will load from that previous time that you saved, and then you're gonna make your sandwich and start this whole process again, or later at another time if you don't feel like spending another 30 minutes trying to get Riolu. It's, that's pretty much how you do it, until you finally get one or two, like, like I did. But that is how you are going to get a shiny Riolu. Oh, I'm still so surprised I got two guys, damn. And there we have our Lucario, our shiny Lucario, dude. Oh my God, I got one in Sword and Shield after 500 eggs, and now I've got one in Scarlet and Violet. Dude, this is, this is great. This is my favorite Pokemon in the Pokemon franchise so far, and I'm glad to have another shiny one. That is, that is crazy. Okay, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and good luck with your shiny hunting.